you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 10th wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 7 verses 14 to 23 Then he called the crowd again and said to them Listen to me all of you and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile but the things that come out are what defile When he had left to the crowd and entered the house his disciples asked him about the parable he said to them Then do you also f- fail to understand Do you not see that uh, whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile it, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared all foods clean, and he said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles, for it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness deceit licentiousness envy slander pride folly all these evil things come from within and they defile your person the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends after defending himself against the accusation of uh, some pharisees scribes about his not observing the traditions of the elder jesus now turns to the people he enunciates what for him is the main principle nothing that goes into the body from outside can make a person ritually or religiously unclean what makes a person unclean is the filth that comes from inside their mind and spoken through their mouth or expressed in action this was a major issue in the earliest days of the church and was dealt by the council of Jerusalem the story is told in the acts of the apostles the first christians were all jews were who continued to observe jewish customs but when non jews began to be accepted in the christian communities should they also be obliged to follow these laws and customs it became clear that from the religious point of view no food could be called unclean this helped to break down the barriers between Jew and Gentile. It has been pointed out that immediately after this, Jesus entered Gentile territory, something he did not often do in his own ministry. Even Jesus' disciples seemed shocked by Jesus' teaching, probably reflecting the reactions of some of the early Jewish Christians. Jesus repeats that what he says is the, in the light of the kingdom was, he was proclaiming. Now food that goes into a person from the outside can make a person unclean. Food does not go into the heart but into the stomach and ultimately passes out as a waste. Real uncleanness is in the heart, the mind. Real uncleanness comes from the inside people in the form of evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, envy blasphemy arrogance for this is real uncleanness and source is in ourselves and not in what we eat as christians we do not more normally worry about clean and unclean foods on religious grounds but we can sometimes judge people's religious commitment by their observance or non observance of purely external things we may have God and rid of uh, the problem of unclean foods but there are many their ways by which we focus on trivial externals while ignoring the real evils the places where real love is absent in ourselves amen may god bless